It was a crash that involved multiple vehicles and left the victims shaken from the chaos. This happened yesterday afternoon on the Moanalua Freeway, impacting both east and westbound lanes. One woman was taken to the hospital, and police say a man ran from the scene, leaving the vehicle he was driving. Sarah Madison follows up. Extremely grateful. That's how two of the victims described the crash on Saturday that involved multiple vehicles and snarled traffic on the Moanalua Freeway. Police say a Nissan Armada driven by an unknown man collided into a Mitsubishi brand vehicle that was driven by a 46-year-old woman heading west in the Fort Shafter area. After the initial impact, both vehicles crashed into the center concrete median, scattering debris which caused damage to four other vehicles in the eastbound lanes. The Mitsubishi overturned and landed in the eastbound lanes where it hit two other vehicles. Glenn Muranaka was with his wife heading east when it happened. We heard this huge bang and it happened so quick this car starts hitting the medium and then start flying up in the air and it looks like it's coming straight towards us but we were in the middle lane and it turned this way it turned slightly this way and then it landed and hit some cars in the back of us brad mckinney was driving with his wife and two small children when they saw the vehicles coming over the median yeah I immediately slammed on the brakes and started sliding towards it um it happened really fast and then still caught the car on my left side, so kind of all the scrapes is just from the, that car that was rolling. Both drivers pulled over to make sure everyone was okay. When you looked at that vehicle that was overturned 150 feet out, we were more concerned about any occupants of that vehicle, whether they survived or not, because it was massive. I mean, it was like the smash. Police say the 46-year-old woman in the Mitsubishi was taken to the hospital in serious condition. Some of the others involved had only minor injuries. Police say the man in the Nissan Armada took off. The guy who, who fled the scene, I, I saw him, so he was one of the people that I checked on. I saw him hopping out of the, the um, Nissan Armada, and so I asked him if he was okay. He said he was okay. McKinney didn't know where the man went, but provided police with a description. Reflecting on what took place so quickly before their eyes, both victims are counting their blessings. It could have been, yeah, she's right, it could have been a lot worse. We're thankful that um, we walked away without a scratch. I think we were lucky. <laughs> I mean, that situation, it just, uh, um, thank God, man. I mean, yeah. it, it had to be fate, but we're lucky. The investigation is still ongoing, and anyone with information is asked to call the vehicular homicide section. We'll have that number on our website at khon2.com. Reporting from Moanalua, Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.